That was so predictable, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't it? Was. That was so expected, that song. But it works. It's perfectly because what would Western Week be without a good old pair of cowboy boots? That's yeah. right. And what, where would we be without it, right? That's Our right. next guest is the author of a celebrated book and a popular website about cowboy boots. And she's wearing a pair she made herself. Here is Jennifer June. Welcome, Welcome Jennifer. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. I bet you know a thing or two if you make your own boots. You have to understand how a boot works, I you bet, do. right? And, and that's why I did it. I had a great time. I learned to make, I mean, two pairs of boots. These are the fancy ones, and it made all the difference. It was a great experience and helped with the book a lot. Well, we have such so, so fashion of, I, look at all of these. <laughs> I, had no, I mean, I know cowboy boots are big, a big deal because it's a very big fashion trend, but wow. These are all beautiful. We want to just want to point out a couple of them and ask a few questions. Of course, we already uh, did our Swarovski crystal ones, which is yeah. really encrusted and with beautiful crystals. But here, here's one that's really quite extraordinary. The, uh, is this handmade, this one? It's a handmade boot from the 50s. It's a vintage cowboy boot, um, heavily inlaid, and just a beautiful example. Now, I notice here that the heel is slanted. What is the significance of the slanted heel? Well, this is a very fashiony boot, even for the 50s. Oh, what is it? Heel. 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 Okay, that's your first blue word. Okay. There you go. Don't leave yet. We got another one coming. So the um, the front of the heel really does help when you have your your boot in the stirrup. So that's a great yeah. thing. The back of the boot um, is also helping get out of the stirrup if you need to, but it also is one of the places where boot makers will, and customers will play with fashion. So this one's a very stylized one, very Did steep. They make a lot like that because it just seems like a, a really steep slope. They right? do. I think we probably have some yeah. of on our models with with some more really slanted slope. heels. Yeah, but okay. then we have a lot of different kinds of heels. We have some lower heels as well. Yeah, I was going to ask you just now how much uh, how much would a boot like this cost? Oh, this well, this one's priceless because it's, it's a wonderful vintage, vintage yeah. boot. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Beautiful. This boot is, um, of course, you have very good taste. Well, I love so, it. <laughs> I love this. So boot. this was a boot that was custom made, and actually it has a story behind it. It was passed from shop to shop, and each boot shop made a different portion of the boot. Oh, and, fantastic. Yes, and they're in my size, so. Oh, convenient. <laughs> convenient, convenient Jennifer. But yes, but beautiful, beautiful leather, um, beautiful craftsmanship. And um, the great thing about a cowboy boot is it can be very personalized. Every, there's a boot for every person, and, yeah. and fashion is, is part of the thing you get to play with. And the price of this would be? Oh, you know, I don't know. A custom boot, again, priceless it's, because it was passed from shop to shop, but um, high-end custom boots could easily run you $3,000. Wow, that's very pricey. Yeah, there's some well, boots for plainer ones. Yeah, okay, sure. yeah. Well, these are handmade, so what these about the ones that are like machine made? Are they less expensive? There's lots of boots Let's here find that one we that's, uh, that have um, for $400, for $200 that are the... Um, are these machine made? They these are, are pretty. Well, you know, there's, yeah. it, you, you don't, it's hard to say machine made because so much of the boot, even when it's made in a factory, it's just made by many, many hands. There's yeah. still a handmade boot because there's just not a lot you can do. Uh, with machines. But these are then, statements. I mean, they're like, I will tell, I'll be honest with you. If you ask me what boot I would pick out, what, from this, what boot would you I pick would, out? Go ahead and ask me that. What boot would you pick out, Mark? Would I? Okay. Yeah. What boot? What, 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 what boot? boot? What boot? What boot I would go with this, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> tell me why. Because I see that boot. I just want to. Oh, it's the fire department. Fire department. It's not a train. Hi. Hey, oh, you're hi. so cute. What? Wait. Oh. <laughs> Come and have a hamburger. Oh, he's cute. Did you She's see stealing him? the show wow. again. She's stealing. I was talking about my favorite boot. Wow, those firemen. Jennifer, I'll tell you why. I, I see this boot 10 years down the road and, and just worn and leather, you know, all broken down. And that's, that's when they're so comfortable. Not even that, a couple of years. Oh, yeah. But this th is a Lucchese boot. It's only going to get better looking with wear. It's yeah. never going to go out of style. Like me. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I have to give you Oh, you're supposed to fight back. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, see, this is typical. This is what I would do. Because I see a boot as being something you work in so much. But they, these are so fashionable. Oh, the you know? colors are great now. The um, they're doing a lot with this distressed leathers. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. And the models that we have over here, I think most, many of them have the distressed leathers, which are great because they're so easy to take care of. They already look broken in. Uh-huh. Um, they're great for splashes of color to go out and, you know, go out on the town, go out on your date nights, um, and just even, or even the farmer's market it, on a Saturday morning. I have a question. This may seem really silly, and this may be the dude in me, but were boots made to be tucked 
the pants tucked yeah, into them in or, out. or out? Well, you know? that pair of boots is um, a classic design with a very high gloss leather. It's a dress boot. You wouldn't want to okay. wear it in the saddle. Um, most men I know who tuck their boots in are really tough cowboys, which you really? wouldn't want to cross anyway. So they can wear their boots any way they want to. But I think for the most part, most men like their jeans outside. Yeah. They're, I do, yeah, yeah no, that like just, that style, uh, yeah. the outside, more casual. He's obviously being a trooper and showing off the design for there the, it is, uh, for the right. crowds. So, well, he uh, won square dancing, square and fair yesterday, <laughs> so why not? He's got to wear the boot. So there you Although go. Although I'm but... still bitter about that. Uh, it wasn't my fault. Did not make the mistake. Wow, these are so beautiful, though. They really are. The point versus the blunt end. It's really personal choice and fashion. Um, certain uh, toes get more popular Look, right now. What's one of the things, yeah. let's see if I can grab it back here. Right this here is a pointed and... Yeah. There, yeah, there we go. When you kick me, that's going to hurt. Yeah, well, I don't want to yeah. kick you. Yeah. yeah. And, and that, oh, look at this one. This oh. one has a double stitch around the welt. That's a kind of a new new fashion item, big square here, toe. Let's show, let me show you. Um, you can wear your, your branded. Put that there. There you go. See the double pride. stitch here? Yeah. There you go. Those look at that. Gorgeous. Wow, that really adds a nice accent and flair to them. It's a very, it's a, it's a great, it's a great statement boot. Yeah. Of course, you're, you're saying something. There's a lot of personality in the boot because it's Texas A&M, so it's got a lot of. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot of pride. Come on, we uh, love Texas A&M. <laughs> no, we do. We, yeah. we absolutely yeah. do. Uh, They're great. Love them. Perfect. I don't know how you people dance in these though. They're, they're, after a while, I think I'd want. I'm not used they to wearing them. They don't hurt at all. They feel well, really they're, great. Well, I, I feel really comfortable in them, but I think you know I'm not used to wearing the heels so much. Men aren't used to wearing the heels. Yeah, yeah. Most, yeah not it, But it, it does make aren't. your tush look cuter when you wear. <laughs> does it? Yes, it does. Think they're Christine? Is it back I there? Think it <laughs> looks mighty fine. It looks mighty fine to me. There Mark. it is. <laughs> I'm not putting it up any higher than it normally is. It's just right there. All right there. Perfect. A little inconvenience on the foot if you're getting used to it, but the cute tush is there. It is. Well, I've been pushing that tush uh, earlier this push week. Push-tushing. I was push-tushing, push I was tush-pushing. Okay. Uh, all right, well, we have to thank all of our friends at Tony Lama. Yes. And uh, Justin Brands and uh, Boot Star and Country Outfitter for loaning out these boots and uh, passing these along to us. Thank you so, so much. And we do have a special treat for our home viewers. We have two chances for you to win a pair of great boots. How awesome is that? Yes. Just follow us on Twitter at Hallmark Channel, then retweet our home and family tweet that has the hashtag boots, boots. on it. And yeah. um, you get a and, pair yeah. of free boots. How fabulous is that? Fantastic. Yes. Well, and Plus, maybe, you can yeah. also go to countryoutfitter.com and you can click on the home and family logo and enter to win. Wonderful. Winners will be selected at random and we will notify you if you have one. Maybe you'll put, would you put them on? Just wear, pre wear them. It'll be the worth shoot. so much more money no, that I way. Would, no, <laughs> really? You put, no. Maybe we should go get the cute fireman. He probably <laughs> yeah, the would fireman. Put them on I'm going to go. Wait, wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, Come all back. All right. Right. all right. Thank you so much, Jennifer. <laughs> What's fine? Let her go chase the fireman. Um, and uh, you can visit our website, hallmark.com forward slash home and family for more on Jennifer's site. So, by the way, your website is dimlights.com. Dimlights .com. All right, stick around. We'll be right back with Todd Burns. He is the owner of Saul Gang, Saul Gang Photographers and Old Time Photo Shoot right here with our home and family. That's right. I'm going to get real old real quick. Don't go away.